The best remedy for those who are afraid, lonely or unhappy is to go outside somewhere where they can be quiet, alone with the heavens, nature and God. Because only then does one feel that all is as it should be and that God wishes to see people happy amidst the simple beauty of nature. As long as this exists, and it certainly always will, I know then there will be always comfort for every sorrow, whatever the circumstances may be. And I firmly believe that nature brings solace in all troubles. And Frank. My garden right now, at the beginning of August, reminds me of the phrase garden ate the gardener. Everything is just spilling over out of its margins. Bees are happily collecting nectar. Flowers are everywhere. Garden is coming into its full season, the mature stage. When you look closely at my Olivia Austin, She's getting taller and taller. You wouldn't see a single presence of black spot, the dreaded black spot. And I mean here, this area here with uh, everything all over on top of each other, uh, Olivia Austin would be quite pressed for air. Air circulation is not really great here. And look at this. Okay, leaves are eaten by some Japanese beetles, which already are not present. But look at this. When I look inside, there is nothing going on. No black spot. Well, you see diseased leaves occasional here and there and petals falling from spent blooms. Very happy with Olivia Austin. And now I am slowing down on that heading. I want time roses to get used to the end of summer. Begin to start forming hips and getting ready for another season of fall. But for now, everything is flamboyant, full of color. Bluebeard, the new introduction, will be blooming soon, very happy with its first performance. I just purchased it in spring, late spring. Bluebeard adjusted very well here, in the front of my porch, near a rose here, Vanessa Bell. And the back porch is getting happily crowded. Sedums are ready to bloom. Salvias are crawling out of uh, their pots. Annuals are still blooming, having strength to push it all the way to the end of the season. Look at the book I just got. It's a lovely little gift from the friend of mine. Her name is Leslie. And she just gave me this gardening journal, turning the soil. A lovely little thing. It's like a gardening log. Oh, isn't it a gift to have lovely friends? Lace flower is finally starting its blooms. 
this type of lace flower is green mist and the rosette type of blooms are the most attractive to all the pollinators. I suspect that flowers are not opened yet. They're going to open, they're not going to be green, uh, white, they're going to be on the green side. I love this plant. I think I'm going to introduce it permanently into my garden. On this corner, the color of Lady of Shalott, which is gracing us with its late blooms, is talking well with the colors of annuals. Occasionally, this Calibra Choa gets a little trim of stems. I not only deadhead the spent flowers, occasionally, I don't do it very often. I also take off some stems, trim them. This way it keeps Calibrachoa bushier and it doesn't get that leggy appearance. I didn't do it to my bacopa. Look at bacopa, how leggy it gets. All right, it needs a haircut. See at the top? And probably in a week, my sedum, oh my, all the pollinators, the minute sedums open their blooms, there will be tons of bees. Calendula is, hmm, what shall I say, not a stately plant. Maybe it wasn't happy to grow in the pot. It doesn't look very well. Um, well, generally calendula is not famous for being a very strong vertical grower. It kind of falls on the side and starts flopping. So this is what happened here. And flowers are not really big, as they were advertised on the internet. Oh well, I still enjoy this happy mess. And you know who is there on this calendula? Look at this here. Let me see if you can see her. Hello little lady. She's right there. I'm not sure what caterpillar that is, but I think it's a moth caterpillar. So she looks like she's having a nice nap there. Lady of Charlotte, blooming away. She has little struggles with black spot, not much this year. And she starts to produce these long, wonderful stems. Some of them have flowers, some of them don't. And you know what? Last, um, previous years I was very diligent in trimming all these uh, long stems at the end of uh, summer. Uh, but now, because Lady of Shalot doesn't have a lot of uh, stems, not stems, a lot of flowers uh, at the bottom of this bush, let me show you, because of black spot, which I diligently collect, I collect all the leaves from black spots, throw them away. So you see Lady of Shalott, but the end of summer gets a little leggy. Not much. And I want these wands, these beautiful long stems, to stay and collect all the uh, sunlight. Well, it makes it a little tricky to go up and down the steps from this side. But it's all good.
at the back the yellow color of red eyes Susans are coming into their late summer bloom. A little bit of flowers here and there of roses, not much. We love to move our dinner table around the garden. Usually the table space is right here at the back. Let's go and see how my Katrina rose is doing and what's happening there. Well, I'm starting to train my Katrina horizontal shapes and uh, whatever is growing out towards the table, I'm trimming out. A lot of gardeners are kind of uneasy to trim healthy foliage. Um, don't worry, if it grows the wrong way, you can trim it and your rose will have plenty of energy to redirect it into creating new shoots. And look at Katrina. She has so many strong bloom, uh, not blooms, stems. Ooh, these are very happy fellows. Well, he wants to grow this way. I'm going to train him to grow on the support. My sixth hill giant got a big haircut. It's going to rejuvenate itself very quickly. Well, I don't think I will get a lot of blooms. Second flush of blooms, I won't because I trimmed my uh, nepetas late in the season. I kind of wait for all the pollinators to finish all the honey collection, uh, the blooms to be almost spent, and then I trim all my perennials, which are good for trimming. And then I, I get no, not second flush of blooms, but nice foliage. For example, here, look at this near my generous gardener at the bottom i have uh, nepeta growing and i trimmed it probably hmm, two weeks ago and this is what i will get at the end of the season no blooms but beautiful foliage nice and green which is appreciated now especially at the end of the season but if you want your spring blooming uh, perennials to give you another flush of blooms and again there are exceptions you do the trimming early in the season you follow maybe the chelsea chop which is at the end of may beginning of june something like that my apples are falling We have wonderful news. My sister came to visit us from Ukraine. And she just needed a break from the war. And I'm very happy to host her here. We have her having grand times. Really enjoying talking and just hanging out, going places, just being together. I haven't seen her for five years. Well, my dear gardeners, have a lovely weekend as usual. Life is good. Happy gardening.